here, and now another one could be on the way out. We are right next to the old Yonkers, and when Yonkers closed down, we lost a lot of foot traffic. I still feel that will be the same, even though Von Mauer is at a different end of the mall. You're still going to lose those people. Becky Gustin of Becky's Hallmark thinks Valley West is on its way to becoming a ghost mall, but other store owners are more optimistic. Yonkers closed down Valley West last year, but now there's concern another anchor store, Von Mar, will also shut down after it's announced plans to open a new location at the bigger and newer Jordan Creek Town Center, about four and a half miles to the west. Our top national story, police in Fresno, California, are looking for suspects who opened fire at a backyard party Sunday night, killing four people. Six other people were also hurt. We have no suspect information at this time, no vehicle information, uh, but uh, obviously we're working on that right now. Lieutenant Bill Dooley of the Fresno Police Department. The victims were watching football when shots rang out about 8 o'clock Iowa time. Officers arrived on scene. What we found uh, were several individuals deceased in the backyard. Police released no information on the person or people who made their way into the yard and began shooting at that house in the southeast part of Fresno. Investigators say there's no evidence that shooting was gang-related. A new contract between Ford and the United Auto Workers Union is a done deal. The contract was ratified Friday, covering four years, giving, giving temporary workers a path to full-time work, and also outlining $6 billion in investment plans in the U.S. The Iowa Department of Natural Resources is using a program to help young farmers. WHO Channel 13 reports the DNR is letting new farmers plant and harvest on its property through a lease program called the Beginning Farmer Program. The DNR says farmers in the program will get to keep about 90% of their crop and leave the other 10% as a food source for wildlife. Some students in Cedar Rapids have the chance to hear from viral fundraiser Carson King this morning. King will speak at uh, Taft Middle School on many topics, including social media. King shot to fame this fall after his sign for beer money at ESPN's college game day before the Cyhawk football game went viral. The effort by King, the Iowa State fan, turned into a $3 million fundraiser for the University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital. WHO Radio News Time 705. This is Major Todd and the latest on your drive this morning from the traffic center. Hey, everything's looking real good across the metro this, this morning. It's a great Monday. It's a smooth Right, seven minutes in from the east or west mixed master into downtown. Instant of free, no delays, even down on the bypass there, of Highway 5 and 65. Have a safe ride this morning, a major talk. Mostly cloudy today with a high of 46. A few rain showers will be possible, all look fairly light. Tonight, cloudy and a low 35. Tomorrow, sunny and warmer with a high of 54. It looks even warmer on Wednesday with highs in the upper 50s, mainly cloudy. Some more rain moves in Wednesday night. That's the latest news radio 1040 WHO three day weather forecast. I'm Channel 13 meteorologist Jeremy Ann Ritter. Coming up on 707, we've got a mixed bag of wintry mix and snow in several parts of Iowa, but we're still clear of any precipitation in the Des Moines and Ames areas. Most of that rain and or snow is falling in the northwest and southwest corners of Iowa, but there's also some snow falling in parts of northeast Iowa. Right now, 31 degrees in Des Moines. We're showing 29 degrees in Ankeny. And I'm Kristen Lascano. Our next scheduled news at 7.30. Breaking news and severe weather at once on AM 1040 on your radio and everywhere you are on the free iHeartRadio app. Live from the 5B studio, this is News Radio 1040 WHO. Have a good morning, Fugles. 